Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Barry Miller. Today I want to share with you an important um, case that came into the clinic. It's something that we see regularly, and this particular case happened to be a little bit more severe than what we typically see. So Murphy uh, was adopted at the shelter, and the new owners brought Murphy in because he actually had a bad odor in his mouth, and it, it appeared that something was bothering his mouth. And when we looked in his mouth, we saw that there was actually, what I actually initially thought was a bone sticking in between his teeth. And it ended up being actually a stick that had extended, had wedged in between the teeth and went from one side of his mouth to the other. So in this case with Murphy, he actually, this stick had been in there long enough that it had eroded the bone and caused infection in between the teeth. And as you can see in these images, actually when we removed the stick from the roof of the mouth, it actually left this long sore in the mouth that was infected. And with appropriate treatment antibiotics and getting his teeth cleaned up, we were able to get it healed up pretty quickly. The reason I wanted to share this with you is, you know, I, a few months ago, we shared with you this story about the, the puppy that had the stick that he had swallowed that was in the stomach. So this is, I guess, going along with the same, the same theme of sticks. A lot of us like to throw sticks. The dogs love to chew on sticks. And like I mentioned before, this is something we see regularly. So be careful with sticks. They can splinter. They can definitely wedge in between the, the two big teeth in the mouth. And when they get wedged in there, the dogs will often paw at the mouth. They'll drool. Sometimes they may not even want to eat their food. But it is important that you get that looked at or that you look in the mouth after they've been chewing on sticks or if they have anything any signs like that. So basically moral of this story is if your dogs like to chew on sticks, make sure you check their mouth regularly that there's no splinters or anything that is that has actually um, the stick hasn't wedged in the mouth or that there's nothing actually sticking in between their teeth or in the in their gums. So um, hopefully that'll help someone and prevent somebody's baby fur baby from having a significant problem in the future. Uh, to your pets, good health. Bye.